But joining me on Pet Corner now is veterinary behaviourist Dr Jess Beer, who's also brought along some furry friends to show how we can get closer and more face-to-face -face time with our cats. Welcome back, Jess. It's good to be back. Thanks for having us. Now, first up, tell me why do some people think, why do we think cats are aloof? Well, cats communicate their love in different ways to humans, and a lot of us don't understand what cats are saying. So recognising that more subtle signs of affection means they love us, right. we wouldn't consider them as aloof. Um, but because they're maybe not as effusive as dogs, people think they're standoffish. But a lot of cats are very sociable and very loving. So they can be as social as dogs? Absolutely. In fact, some breeds are known to be more sociable. Um, and it depends on how they've been raised, what kind of genetics. Were mum and dad really friendly with people? Uh, and obviously when they were exposed as a young kitten like Olaf, exposed to love and treats and affection. Now this little man's an SPCA rescue cat? He is. He'll be looking for a home in the next day or two. Oops, I've just looked. This is why I put something on my lap, because I've dribbled cat little kitty treats He's all over me. He's very keen on it, isn't he? So we as humans though, can think that they are aloof, can't I we? Think we don't understand them. Um, they're also a bit more independent and we've got to respect that as we would with humans who perhaps aren't as sociable as others. So we've just got a little rescue cat at home ourselves and one of the things we had a puppy as well, the, the kids are asking is, well why doesn't he want to spend face-to-face you know, -face time with us? Uh, well the main thing with face-to-face -face time, we, we've got these lovely social media apps where we stare at each other. For cats, unfortunately, a full-on stare and showing your teeth is pretty aggressive. So it's not the kind of thing you would do when you want to be bonding with them. Um, so yes, we can have face-to-face -face time but we've got to be a little bit more subtle with our flirtation. So what are their signs of affection then? Well definitely um, they have something called a slow blink so if they're really content they'll blink and turn their head away. I mean it's beautiful and that indicates they're comfortable and happy with your presence. Oh that's got a nice slow blink. Yeah and of course Olaf here is showing affection, he's keen to be with you. We've got another little guy here Oscar, um, Arthur, sorry Arthur. Boop, boop, boop. And he's a little bit less interactive, but he would be happy to just sit and snuggle and be close to us. And he started a purr even, which tells oh. us that he's happy. So when they purr, purr, that does definitely mean that they're that happy, That is a it? sign of content and a sign of love. Oh, Should we give you great. some of this as well? So, so why is treating them, because I've just been giving Olaf some of this, um, why is treating them with things like dyeing creamy treats helpful and creating that closer bond? Well, these are a great little um, dispensing packet, actually, because it allows you to give a small treat and they associate that really pleasant flavour with the presence of you and they're like well you're bringing me yummy stuff. If I bought you chocolates every day, you'd probably start to like me oh, as well. I'd be inviting you to move in. Yeah, if you so chocolates every cats, day. it's a really simple way of um, making a positive association between you and um, the yummy food so that they'll seek you out and they'll be a lot more affectionate just to spend time with you. So why do you feed them with your ha by hand? Why is that effective? Well, it's pairing the yumminess with you directly. If you put food in a bowl, you distance yourself a little bit from it. So hand feeding is a really wonderful way of being completely in that relationship and forming that positive bond. So beside treats, how else can we get a closer relationship with our puss? Well, understanding their affection um, and what they want and what makes them happy. So certain cats like to be petted. Hi. Other cats like to be played with, so lots of toys chasing around, they get really excited and they know that when you brought out that special little feather toy, they're going to have fun. <laughs> um, and just uh, hugs and cuddles. Mm. But obviously be aware that there are sensitive parts. Cats like smooches around their face, yeah. not so much on their belly or their feet. Yes. So if you start going into that, you'll find that they decide they don't really want to spend time with you because you're a little bit offensive. Yeah. <laughs> we have found that ourselves with our little rescue. He's quite a young boy uh, because uh, he is rescue, uh, just six weeks old at the moment and oh, we found that yeah this. the boys found out pretty quickly he doesn't like to be petted on his yes. stomach and I tell you what they let you know because they're pretty sharp see he they, loves me now <laughs> he, yeah, he's take, you've taken over his infections uh, the thing is too is that they are very uh, forward with showing that they don't like what you're doing aren't they well it's funny they can be subtle and then they go from zero to a hundred pretty quick so yeah. they'll do a little tail twitch to say I don't like you touching me there and then it's full out launching at you with, with nails. So reading those more subtle signs as we said to understand their affection mm. is also a really important way of recognising when they're not so happy with what you're doing. Oh that is awesome and these two little guys are gorgeous. They're, they're buddies the actually, they're oh. looking for homes um, out at Auckland SBCA and um, be ready in a couple of days. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much, Jess. My pleasure. Dr. Thanks. Jess, should I say? Thanks. And if you would like to try out Dr. Jess's great advice to get a closer bond with your cat, yes, you can head along to the supermarket to pick up the new Dine Creamy Treats, which come in three irresistible flavours, and they are irresistible. We just saw that. Or you can visit dine.co.nz for more information. Plus, we have three Dine Creamy Treat prize packs to give away. Just head along to our Facebook page to enter.